Good morning, Year 11, and welcome to another assembly in terms of a message from me. So let me just remind you, just in case you've not seen your last assembly from last week, my name's Mr. War and I'm your new principal. And last week I promised you an update as I could see it in terms of where we're at with your GCSEs and your BTECs. Now, to be honest, there's been not a lot of change since this time last week in terms of what we know about what's going to happen for your GCSEs and your BTEC exams. But what we do know is that the vast majority of those exams, what you were expecting to happen, is not going to happen. So those exams where, for example, in mathematics GCSE, what you'd be doing is doing three GCSE exam papers, that's not going to happen. What's going to happen is going to be a range of things. And a range of things includes everything from coursework, controlled assessment, your engagement in online remote learning, how you've been since the start of year 10, every test you have ever done, every class and every lesson you have ever attended. All of that's going to be put into the mix, put into the bag to work out how we support you to get the best possible grades. And I want to repeat something that I said this time last week. This time last week, I said to you that actually in a teenager's brain, what might happen is you might see a headline which says the exams are cancelled and you say to yourself, ah, no work to do then. It's the exact opposite. The exact opposite. Now, I want to show you something. Because this is what you are competing and this is what you are aiming for. It all, year 11, comes down to this, an envelope. And in this envelope is everything you have ever done since you were about four. <clears throat> in this envelope is every lesson you have ever attended, <clears throat> every day you have gone to school, every time a teacher or a support member or staff has supported you. Every piece of homework, every test, every exam, everything. In fact, year 11, for the vast majority of your living memory, everything comes down to this envelope. And I have to say this. This envelope is probably the only thing that you actually own. The only thing which is truly, absolutely, unequivocally, yours. The clothes on your back were probably brought for you by your parents or your carers. The phone in your pocket was probably brought, bought for you by them. The things you have around you, you may have earned, you may have had a job, you may have earned it through pocket money or whatever, but genuinely they've come to you from another source. This, this envelope is entirely of your making. Let me explain the envelope. Some point in August, some point in about the fourth week of this summer um, break, you're going to come into school and you're going to walk down the long corridor towards the street and you're going to be feeling every emotion under the sun. You're going to be feeling nervous, excited, scared, worried, elated, all of those things. And what you're coming down to do is to get one of these. Because in this envelope will be your results, your GCSEs, your BTECs, your OCR Nationals, all of your qualifications. And everything you have done goes into this envelope. Now, right here, right now, this envelope is empty. It's a blank bit of paper. Nothing there. But what will happen is on this envelope in August, you will have your name written at the top your centre number, your candidate number, and then a list of qualifications, a list of names of qualifications, mathematics, English language, English literature, BTEC sports science, etc, etc, etc. All of those things will be down that list. And next to them will be a number or a grade. And just in case you don't see it, if it's a letter, they put it twice. They put it in capital letters and they put it in lowercase. They will be your qualifications. And those qualifications will is your passport, your passport to the next level, the next step, college, apprenticeship, university. 
What you've now got to do, year 11, is you've got to accept the baton. What I want you to do is what I want you to do is realize that right now you have every opportunity to influence, to change, to explain to your teachers, to really put everything you can into this envelope. Now's the time. Now's the time to jump in with both feet, because if not now, when? All of your teachers are online today, first thing this morning, from nine o'clock onwards, three lessons a day, three 100 minutes. We've invested heavily in online platforms from the use of Microsoft Teams to the new century tech. Use it. Get involved. You have to convince us and convince the world of how good you are, how much you know, and how much potential you have. Year 11, this is your challenge. This is your challenge to accept the baton of filling this envelope with the most amount of work, the greatest amount of engagement, and the best possible version of yourself that you can. Now, let me just explain one last thing. These qualifications, this judgment, we don't know exactly how it's going to work. We haven't had the guidance yet. But what I can tell you, having done this before last year for both GCSE, BTEX and A-levels, this is not about what you know. This is about what you know compared to everyone else. You're in competition. You're in direct competition with the person next door, with the person you sit next to, with the people in your class, with the people in your school, and with the people and young people of all schools in this country. Because what ultimately comes out of this is your ranking. You're going to be ranked. We have 270 students in year 11, and we're going to find the number one student for mathematics, all the way to the number 270th student for mathematics. Staff will be ranking you, how you perform against your peers. So year 11, accept the challenge. Fill this envelope with the best possible effort, engagement and work that you possibly can. And I know I'm laboring this point, but you are now in a game, in a competition. You are now competing against your each other, your fellow students and your fellow year 11s across this country. Jump in with both feet, engage with all of this work and fill this envelope with the best possible version of yourself. Take care, year 11. Stay safe. If you're doing the, G, um, the OCR national exams today, good luck. Well done for those who did the music last week. Brilliant to see those doing the drama last week. But year 11, get online, get engaged and fill this envelope. Take care, stay safe.